In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a SQL query to get sales data out of a database. This is a sample database um, called AdventureWorks, but the general database structure is probably the same with a lot of different application databases out there. So this will just give you kind of a general understanding of like the type of query you would need to write a simple sales um, SQL query to aggregate your data properly so then you could take this query and put it into a reporting tool such as Crystal, Excel, SQL Reporting Services, BERT, um, Tableau, uh, all kinds of different query tools out there. Just This gives you the, the basics of how to get the data aggregated properly. So um, you probably want to start out with like something like a base query uh, such as the the sales order header. Um, that's typically I try to um, just get the, the the base data first, like a, a base query. So this is a simple select statement: select star from the table name. Um, so now we're going to add um, individual tables in there um, to this to get the data, because obviously this is just data from one table. So we need to um, join or link other tables in here to um, to pull in uh, the data because this this just has the cells information the subtotal here but it doesn't have like our customer or the the region so let's uh, let's go ahead and add in a uh, contact so um, I'm pasting in portions of my query here, but what you would normally do is come over here into the um, database explorer and then and kind of look and see. Okay, uh, I go to sales. Let's go to sales order header, right? And then you would see that uh, that there's a um, a contact ID there. So. Um, and then this is just kind of something you have to you have to go through and you have to figure out what are the relationships between the tables. So now I need to join that contact ID back to my contact table, right? So there's that contact ID. So I'm going to join on those. That way I can pull in information from both of those tables. Um, so now, oh. So I didn't alias this right. That's why it's giving me this this little uh, red line under there. So I'm aliasing the table with the letters SH, contact with the letter C. Okay, so now um, we need to join to our individual table to get um, um, to link our customer ID in. So uh, um, on I customer ID equals run that make sure it still runs okay so now we'll just we'll um, add in um, we'll I'll now start adding in um, stuff under our individual so Now we need to link our individual table back to our address. Um, address. It's a customer address. There, and then we're going to call that CA. 
and then we'll join on I dot customer ID equals CA dot customer ID. So that links back our address to our customer. And now we're going to join on our person address AD to get our Okay, so what do we got so far? I'm just gonna run this. Okay, um, so we need, we wanna start putting in our individual names um, for, from what we have here so far. We, we probably go back in and add some more joins in, um, but let's see what we have. Uh, so um, we have our contact, right? So we want to add our contact last name. And let's do the contact first name. Um, and then uh, we want to get our sales, um, our sales information. So that's our subtotal from our sales header table. And then let's get the order date, right? Okay, so okay. Let's see. Okay, so now this is our we have our name and our um, our total and the date it was ordered. But it'd be nice to have like um, like region or or like the state. Um, or country. So let's add our state to the address. Um, state province, we'll call that SP on address dot state province ID equals SP dot state province ID right so that now adds our SP dot um, state province name now we want to alias this because that's just a name so we want to call it um, state, province, something like that. Okay, let's run that, see what that looks like. Great, so now we have our state, our name, our subtotal. Um, and so now, um, one last thing, it would be nice to really have our um, the country in there. So let's join on that. Um, person dot uh, country region on SP dot um, country region code equals country region code okay so now that's gonna that should give us our our actual country so we're gonna come up here and we want to get the name and again we want to alias that oops no 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 
as um, um, let's call that country. My auto completes taking over. Okay, so let's try that now. Great, so now this gives us our country, our state, our province, um, our last name, first name, sales, and order date. So now we can take this and put this into a reporting tool that will aggregate this by, by year. We can filter, create parameters on country and state, um, drill in, drill out to the details of the name of the actual data. Um, so, but this gives us our base query so that we can now use this um, in a reporting tool.